Oh no, whatever do you mean? I'm so shocked. My husband has passed away of mysterious circumstances. I just, I don't even know what to say. He was such a good man. Wonder whatever could have happened to him. My channel so today obviously that was just a joke but we are going to be making these awesome feathery tumbler-esque sexy lady robes um, because I saw these online and so many of you guys did too I get like 30 DMs a day requesting these this specific DIY so today I thought I would make my own little feathery tumbler robe because the actual retail price of these is like 450 bucks which is really really steep so I thought I would make my own and this one in total costs like $40 so today I'm gonna show you how to do it so here we go, DIY sexy sugar daddy killing robe. All right guys, first <laughs> thing you're gonna need is some needle and some thread. I'm using black thread because my robe is black, so get some that matches your robe. This looks really funny, but next thing you're going to need is a robe. Um, as you can see, this one is like a mesh silky bathrobe looking thing. Um, it's actually technically a duster coat, but I got this one from a site called Posh Cult, um, and it was like $35. So this is uh, the robe that we're going to feather up. So obviously you're gonna need some feathers. These are a black boa that I got downtown. Um, I got three of them just because I wanted to make sure I had plenty. So grab some feather boas, whatever color you like, and we can get to featherizing. Then last but not least, you're gonna need a piece of ribbon. Um, I also got this downtown, it was like 50 cents. So ta-da, there we go. That's all we need and we can get started. Alrighty, so in case you haven't seen it, these are the robes. Now, as you can see, the feathers on here are around the cuffs, around the bottom, and lined up a little bit um, around the neckline. So that is what I'm gonna do to this robe. So you can see, like I said, I just bought the meshy robe um, from that website. Please don't fall down. Uh, okay, anyways. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead and mirror the, mirror the picture and put the feathers all around the cuffs and around the neckline and around the bottom of the robe. So here we go, let's uh, just get to storing. By the way, I'm sorry, there's just like caramel popcorn and whatnot in the middle of my <laughs> craft station. It's the holidays. So anyways, and I'm just going to take the little fuzzy thing and put that right there. And then I'm just going to literally sew it on like so. Sew it on like so. Ah, ha, ha. Ah, okay. All right. So just in case you've never sewn anything before, all you got to do is thread the needle. Ta-da. Great. You can pull it through. Again, everything is so difficult with my long nails, but you make it work, you know? Looking fabulous is worth the extra effort. My mama actually taught me this trick. If you take the end of the string um, and just kind of wrap it around your finger a few times like this, and then you just kind of rub, rub it off like this and then pull on it like so. Ta-da, you are going to have a knot that is now tied and not going anywhere, so it's not really the most aesthetically pleasing thing, but this is a great way to not have to spend 300 hours tying a knot. So then there you go, you're ready and we can start sewing. Okay, so this is all we're gonna do for this. Now you can't really tell, but there's like a hard thing in the middle of this, um, and that is what we're gonna be sticking the needle through. So you can stick that right through the center of the boa and pull the knot through. So then you're probably just gonna wanna do one or two little knots there to make sure it sticks. And then there you go. It is attached perfectly easily to the top. So then you will just go ahead and sew it all the way down. By the way, you don't have to like sew it like uh, right next to each other. You can kind of spread it out. Like you can see I have a stitch here and then my next stitch I'll probably just do over here. Um, so it's far away. By the way, look at this. My nails come such in handy as a thimble. So that's cool. They do come in handy once in a while. All right, there was just absolutely not enough room in my <laughs> on my normal craft table to show you guys this. So you can see I've done half of the robe there. I sewed it all the way down um, and then curled it along on the back edge of the robe. So now I will just go ahead and repeat the process on the other side until it's all floofed up. All right, guys, so now we're just gonna go ahead and sew it around um, the little armhole thing. So just gonna take the little fluffage and literally do the exact same thing I already did. Um, maybe you might wanna cut it first, just so you're not dealing with like a pound of fluff. So you go ahead, measure that around. There we go. So you can just go ahead, trim that. Ta-da! 
Alrighty. All right, here we go. So if you lay the robe out flat, um, again, I know it's just a mess, but you can see this robe already has like, this is the lace tie around um, little string thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the ribbon and I'm just gonna go ahead and lay it. Um, both sides are shiny, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and sew it. So I'll just like make a little stitch here, here and here, um, just so this part can fall off and then we can tie it into a bow around the front. So, like there you go, you can kind of see I just made like little tiny stitches in there and and then tied it around the back. Um, again, hard to see, but basically that's all I did. I just attached it on the side, the center, and the other side. So now we can go ahead and put it on because this looks really bad, but I promise it's gonna look cool once it's on me. Whoosh. I don't know why I did that, okay. You guys, I paired it with these feathery shoes that I got um, from Public Desire, so you can check those out. But look at this, look at this. This looks so good. Like honestly, this one looks better than the ones that you can buy. I love it, and like I said, you can customize this, so get whatever color robe you want. You can do whatever color fluff, whatever color, color ribbon, and you are gonna look banging, baby cakes. Woo, so fun, so fun, so fun. So there you have it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial because, oh my gosh, I think this is like one of the funnest things I've ever made. Um, as always, I love you guys so very much. Please remember, this is just a video. This is a joke. I don't obviously advocate killing anyone, um, especially your sugar daddy, because he's got money. No, <laughs> I'm kidding again, you guys. Can you take a joke? I hope so. Oh, God. Anyways, I love you guys so, so, so much. As always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, all my socials are at Amber Scholl, so hit me up on there. Um, and I will see you guys super soon. I'm going home for the holidays today. So if any of you guys are going to be in Phoenix, I might do a meetup there. So um, follow me on Instagram and Snapchat and Twitter to keep tabs on that. So I love you guys as always. Kisses till next time, my sweet baby angels. <laughs> XO. Damn. I am living for this. Living for it. And I guess my husband died for it. Oh. Tragedy. Ha, <laughs>